Good morning. Welcome to WWDC. I'd like to hand it over to John to talk about the Mac. Introducing the 15-inch MacBook Air. With an expansive 15.3-inch screen, it's only 11.5 millimeters thin, and it's three pounds. It features MagSafe charging, two Thunderbolt ports, and a headphone jack. And it comes in four gorgeous finishes. And it starts at just $12.99. You can order it today, and it'll be available next week. The 13-inch MacBook Air now starts at $10.99. Mac Studio is getting the M2 Max. Introducing M2 Ultra. Connecting two M2 Max die together, M2 Ultra can support 192 gigabytes of unified memory, our largest and most capable chip ever. We're bringing M2 Ultra to Mac Studio. Mac Studio now has higher bandwidth HDMI, enabling up to 8K resolution and 240 hertz frame rates. It can support an incredible six pro display XDRs. So that's the new Mac Studio. We're bringing Apple Silicon to one more pro product. Introducing Mac Pro with Apple Silicon. Now every Mac Pro has Afterburner performance built in, not just one, but the performance of seven Afterburner cards. Mac Pro can ingest 24 4K camera feeds and encode them to ProRes in real time with eight built-in Thunderbolt ports. Mac Pro brings PCI expansion to Apple Silicon. It features six open expansion slots that support Gen 4. So that's the new Mac Pro powered by Apple Silicon. Mac Studio with M2 Max still starts at $19.99. Mac Pro starts at $69.99, and they'll be available next week. Here's Craig. Let's start with iOS. We're making a big update to the phone app this year. Personalized contact posters. It's also part of your contact card. Customizing your poster works a lot like personalizing your lock screen. And for developers, this all works with CallKit. Live voicemail. Now, when someone calls you and leaves a message, you'll see a live transcription in real time as they speak. If it's something you want to address right away, you can pick up the call to talk to them right then and there. We've added one of our most requested communication features. Now, when you call someone on FaceTime and they aren't available, you'll be able to leave a message. You can record a message so that they can enjoy it later. Here's Kim. Search is more powerful and precise with the addition of search filters. So now you can start a search and then add additional terms to narrow the results to find exactly what you're looking for. A new catch-up arrow in the top right of your conversation lets you jump to the first message you haven't seen. We've also made replying inline faster than ever. Just swipe to reply on any bubble. When you get an audio message but you aren't able to listen right away, they're now transcribed so you can read them in the moment and listen later. Location sharing now lets you keep track of your friend's location directly in the conversation. Check in. You can start check in with a family member or friend to let them know when you get home safely. It can recognize that you're not making progress towards your destination and check in with you. And if you don't respond, it can automatically share useful information such as your current location, see your battery level and cell service status so they know if you might be able to take their call. Information shared with your friend is end-to-end -end encrypted. With just a tap of this new plus button, you'll see all the things you send the most. You'll see all your iMessage apps there too. A brand new stickers experience. By tapping the plus button and then tapping stickers, we've made all emoji into stickers, and I can rotate and resize it too. By tapping the new Live Stickers tab, I see all the stickers I've made with my own photos. I'll tap the plus button. I can pick any one of these photos and turn it into a sticker. I see all of the live photos that will make great animated stickers. Just like that, it gets added right into my Live Stickers tab. When you tilt your phone in messages, they really come to life. AirDrop. With NameDrop, you can just bring your phones close together, and you can easily choose the phone numbers and email addresses you want to share along with it, and share them just like that. When you want to share the stunning photos you took on your latest adventure, again, just bring your phones close together. You can now leave AirDrop range, and your content will continue to send securely over the internet. You can also instantly kick off a shared activity using SharePlay. This will work automatically for apps that support SharePlay. Autocorrect. The keyboard now leverages a transformer language model, and now you'll get predictions in line as you type. So finishing a word or even the whole sentence is as easy as tapping the space bar. Journal. 
Your iPhone can create personalized suggestions of moments to inspire your writing. And you control what to include when you enable suggestions and which ones to save to your journal. It includes where you went, the music you listened to, and photos you took there. So it's easy to get started. No one but you can access it, not even Apple. Stand by. Just by turning iPhone on its side while charging, you get a new full screen experience with glanceable information designed to be viewed at a distance. And it's easy to personalize. Swipe up to choose from a range of beautiful clock styles. And you can look back on your favorite photos. With a quick swipe on each widget stack, you can see the current weather, home control, or your favorite third-party widgets. You can also see the score of the game or when your food delivery is arriving. Standby adapts to low light to help you sleep. Many more features, including the ability to simply say Siri to activate Siri. And now you can issue back-to-back -back commands without needing to say Siri again. In Maps, you can select an area and download a map to your device to use when you're offline. And that's iOS 17, iPad OS. Starting with widgets and the lock screen. So I can not only see my reminders, I can also tap one to mark it as complete. I can control my lights right from the home widget. Start playing an album with the music widget. These interactions with widgets are gonna make the home screen so much more powerful, the lock screen. When you select a live photo, we use an advanced machine learning model to synthesize additional frames to create a gorgeous, smooth, slow motion effect whenever you wake iPad. And now choose from any of the planets in the solar system and even change the font weight. Here on the left, there's also a space to add widgets, to see information at a glance, and even perform quick actions. It's really cool. And we're happy to report that now you can even keep track of multiple timers. We truly live in an age of wonders. The Health app has been designed to take advantage of the larger screen on iPad. Health Kit comes to iPad. Here's Jenny. Thanks to new machine learning models, iPadOS can identify the fields in a PDF. So you can use autofill to quickly fill them out. This even works on documents you scan with a camera. You can add a safe signature or make a new one with Apple Pencil. PDFs sit right inside your notes. When you're working together, you see each other's updates in real time. Live collaboration even works with stickers and images. If you need to finish later, you can use live collaboration from anywhere. You can now take advantage of the built-in camera on your external display. These join other great features like the redesigned lock screen and interactive widgets. Let's turn our attention to Mac OS. We turned once again to Apple's legendary crack product marketing team. Introducing Mac OS Sonoma, stunning new screensavers that show beautiful slow motion videos of places around the world and the rolling hills of Sonoma. And when you log in, this imagery settles beautifully into your desktop widgets. Bring your widgets right into view here on the desktop. I love to catch a glimpse of my favorite photos throughout the day and weather too. If I open up mail, my widgets instantly fade into the background. If I switch my wallpaper, you'll see the widgets are intelligently tinted based on the color behind them. But I also have some amazing widgets on my iPhone. I can now access them all right here on my Mac. Widgets on the Mac are now interactive. So you can use your car widget from your iPhone to start cooling off your car. Here's Jeremy. Metal provides a new game porting toolkit to make it even easier for developers to port their games from other platforms, significantly reducing the total development time. A new video effect called Presenter Overlay elevates your presence by including you on top of the content you're sharing. With large overlay, you remain prominent. We separate you from the background and layer your screen in between. We also have a new reactions video effect with balloons, confetti, hearts, and more. And you can trigger these effects with a gesture. You can use these new video effects with any app, Safari, and how we're taking it to the next level. We're now adding the ability to securely share passwords and passkeys with the people you're closest with. Profiles help you separate your cookies, history, extensions, tab groups, and favorites. So you can sign into the same site with your work account and personal account and quickly switch between them. Web apps on Mac. 
With web apps, we're elevating the websites you use most often. From the file menu, I can click Add to Doc, and the title and icon load automatically. When I click Add, the icon instantly appears in the doc. On Mac, you can create a web app for any website. And that's Mac OS Sonoma. What's new for AirPods? Adaptive Audio. Adaptive Audio dynamically blends transparency and active noise cancellation to match the conditions of your surroundings. Distracting noises are automatically reduced. We use machine learning to understand your listening preferences over time to deliver the best media experience for you in the moment. Just start speaking, and conversation awareness will automatically lower your music, focus on the voices in front of you, and reduce background noise. You can press to quickly mute or unmute yourself as needed. Airplay. Airplay in hotels. Just scan the QR code and tap the confirmation. You're automatically connected to Wi-Fi and ready to resume watching from right where you left off. Now, when the driver's iPhone is connected to CarPlay, any passenger's iPhone will automatically suggest joining their session. TVOS and Apple TV. We've completely redesigned Control Center, making it more intuitive to do things like access AirPod settings, home cameras, system controls, and user profiles, all with a touch of the Siri remote. And for the times when you can't find your Siri remote, you can now use your iPhone to locate it. FaceTime is coming to Apple TV. Apple TV takes full advantage of the cameras on your iPhone and iPad for effects like center stage. With SharePlay, you can easily watch together and everyone stays in sync. These are some of the features coming to audio and home. Watch OS 10. Now from any watch face, you can simply turn the digital crown to reveal widgets in a smart stack. I can easily see when it might be a good time to call a friend in a different time zone. Streaks now utilizes the entire display, so you can easily see your progress and access your tasks. In watchOS 10, Compass will automatically generate a new cellular connection waypoint will indicate the last place you had reception with your carrier. Another new waypoint will indicate where on your route you can make an emergency call using any available carrier's network. A new elevation view. Using altimeter data, you can see a three-dimensional view of your saved waypoints. We're introducing a new topographic map with contour lines, hill shading, and elevation details. We're introducing a new feature called screen distance to measure if a child is holding their device too close for an extended period of time, and then encourages them to move their device farther away. Screen distance can also help adults reduce digital eye strain. WatchOS 10 is a major milestone giving Apple Watch an enormous update. Back to you, Craig. So those are our updates. Now, back to Tim. We do have one more thing. Apple Vision Pro. Vision Pro feels familiar, yet it's entirely new, just like it's in your physical space. And you control Vision Pro using the most natural and intuitive tools, your eyes, hands, and voice. You're no longer limited by a display. Your surroundings become an infinite canvas. Use your apps anywhere and make them any size you want. Watch your movies, shows, and sports, and immerse yourself in games on a giant screen surrounded by spatial audio. And connect with people as if you're sharing the same space. Apple Vision Pro will introduce us to spatial computing. When you first put on Vision Pro, you see your space and everything in it. The home view lives right in front of you. It's where you find all of your apps. It's familiar, yet revolutionary. They have dimension, respond dynamically to light, and even cast shadows to help you understand scale and distance. And you can place apps exactly where you want them, anywhere in your space. It feels natural, like moving real objects. And launching new apps doesn't take space from existing ones. They simply occupy a new space. They can grow beyond the dimensions of your physical room with environments. Environments extend and transform your space so you can control how immersed you are by simply turning the digital crown. 
Whether extending a small portion of your room or being fully immersed within an environment, Apple Vision Pro relies solely on your eyes, hands, and voice. It's just you and your content. You browse the system simply by looking. It's effortless. App icons subtly come to life when you look at them. And with Siri, you can quickly open or close apps, play media, and more. You're never isolated from the people around you. You can see them, and they can see you. So Vision Pro displays your eyes when someone is nearby. This is how it looks when using apps. And this changes when you're fully immersed in an experience, sending a clear signal to those around you that you can't see them at the moment. When someone is nearby, they will appear in your view. And Vision Pro will simultaneously reveal your eyes to them. Vision Pro is always in sync with your iPhone, iPad, and Mac, making it amazing to watch videos or read articles. You can receive a 3D object in messages, pull it out, and look at it from every angle. You can even bring your Mac wirelessly into Apple Vision Pro, giving you an enormous private and portable 4K display. So you can dial in the White Sands environment and use other apps in Vision Pro side by side with your Mac. For example, you can collaborate remotely with your team on the same document. You can join a group call and see everyone life-size. You hear each person's voice coming from the location of their tile. You can share apps with others and use them together with SharePlay. Select a photo and watch as the room dims around you. In Vision Pro, every panorama you've ever taken on your iPhone now expands and wraps around you life-size. Vision Pro is Apple's first 3D camera. It lets you capture and relive your memories in 3D with spatial audio. It's easy to capture a spatial photo or video with just the press of a button. And EyeSight makes it clear to those around you when you are capturing one. You have a gorgeous screen you can adjust to the perfect size. Vision Pro automatically dims the surrounding light, casts a beautiful glow into your space, and surrounds you with spatial audio. Open an environment like Mount Hood to scale your screen beyond the dimensions of your room, so it feels 100 feet wide, giving you the most majestic viewing experience ever. Use your AirPods, sit back, and dial in an environment. 3D movies have incredible depth and crisp motion. A singular piece of three-dimensionally formed and laminated glass supports all-day use when plugged in, and up to two hours of use with the external high-performance battery slips easily into your pocket and connects via a supple woven cable. It starts with a micro OLED Apple Silicon backplane that fits 64 pixels in the space of a single iPhone pixel. Vision Pro has 23 million pixels across two panels that are each just the size of a postage stamp. We designed a custom three element lens with incredible sharpness and clarity. The result is a display that's everywhere you look. Your brain is totally convinced that sounds are coming from the environment around you. The system also provides high-resolution video to the displays, enables precise head and hand tracking, performs real-time 3D mapping, and more. A high-performance eye tracking system uses high-speed cameras and a ring of LEDs that project invisible light patterns onto the eyes. It processes input from 12 cameras, five sensors, and six microphones, streaming new images to the displays within 12 milliseconds. EyeSight utilizes a unique curved OLED panel with a lenticular lens to project the correct perspective of your eyes to each person looking at you. After a quick enrollment process using the front sensors on Vision Pro, the system uses an advanced encoder-decoder neural network to create your digital persona. It delivers a natural representation which dynamically matches your facial and hand movement. When viewed by someone in another Vision Pro, your persona has volume and depth not possible in traditional video. Developers can use familiar tools and frameworks like Xcode, SwiftUI, RealityKit, and ARKit to make new apps for Vision Pro. The same frameworks available in iPadOS and iOS are also included in VisionOS. This means hundreds of thousands of iPad and iPhone apps will be available on Vision Pro at launch. Optic ID. This new system uses the uniqueness of your iris, which is distinct even with identical twins to instantly unlock Vision Pro. Optic ID data is encrypted, never leaves your device, and like Face ID, 
is only accessible to the secure Enclave processor. Where you look stays private. There is so much invention in Vision Pro that we filed over 5,000 patents during its development. If you purchased a new state-of-the-art TV, surround sound system, powerful computer with multiple high-definition display, high-end camera, and more, you still would not have come close to what Vision Pro delivers. Apple Vision Pro starts at $34.99. It will be available early next year on apple.com. Now back to Tim. This has been a huge day. Toast. Have a great week and a great WWDC.